Hi, Tony Poulos here at MWC 23. I'm here today with Gilles Garcia, Senior Director of the Business Lead Communications Group at AMD, and Nick Hancock, Director of the Telco Vertical Business Group at AMD. Gentlemen, welcome. Good to catch up. Gilles, let me start with you. It's just over a year since the AMD acquisition of Xilinx. Tell us how the combined portfolio is shaping up. So, thank you for the question. Great question because we are now a year, like you say, a year after the acquisition. And as you can see on this show, you are really feeling and seeing, and we are demonstrating the complete end-to-end -end portfolio integration. And so this has been a big change for AMD and for Xilinx as well as being integrated to be able to have this complete portfolio for the telco end-to-end -end from the radio to the uh, cloud run with the VRAN demonstrated at Mobile World Congress. And from your side, Nick? Yeah, it's been a great journey. I mean, it's been amazing to, to, uh, to you know, bring together you know, the two sides of the organization into one. And uh, you know, it's, it's, we've learned a lot from each other and uh, it's really been enjoyable working together. And uh, it, it, brings, it fulfills out that full portfolio. So we have such a solid story to take to customers. As you speak to operators and wireless vendors in the market, what are the key challenges AMD can help them address? We are addressing the end-to-end -end challenges that they have. Up to now, they had to pick vendors that were addressing one aspect of the, of the, of the market or another one. So they had to, to change the technology portfolio. We are bringing them a complete end-to-end -end technology platform. And so with innovation in, at all the stages of this technology platform so that we can really bring them value. Because at the end, that's what we are bringing. We are bringing value to the customers. Nick, over to you. AMD seems to be coming more present in the telco space. Can you share what's new this year? Uh, I think, you know, really for us, we've been uh, bringing together a number of different aspects. One is on the, uh, the, v the cloud round side. Our collaboration with Nokia is particularly exciting. So validation on, on Epic, our fourth generation Epic platform. Uh, and then turning to uh, more of the, the software validations, we've also been working very closely with key partners like Amdocs, being able to bring together really unique security solutions to secure billing systems and operational systems environments so that they can meet regulatory objectives. So that's really, really good example. And then we have other examples, you know, such as, uh, such as our cloud gaming uh, partnerships with, uh, with Radiant Arc, uh, where we're uh, really addressing the line of business and helping telcos to develop new revenue streams in an in a, in as easy as possible way. Let me compliment Nick's answer, because I think that we have also made two additional announcements. One on the radio space. We have announced two new devices for our radio portfolio that are going after the um, adjacent high volumes, low end radio market. So we have two new devices, RFSOC device family. So with very hard uh, cores and very low power. So that are, we are very excited about that because that's expanding our radio portfolio. And last but not least, we have announced as well our Telco Labs. Of course. So the Telco Labs is really end to end labs that we are investing in partnership with Viavi to be able to demonstrate our end-to-end -end solutions. And not only demonstrate, but test, validate, and bring our partners and customers into it. And on the subject of your ecosystems leveraging the Telco Lab, do you have any others at the show? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so we brought with us uh, a, a range of our latest generation servers, which will launch back in November. Um, so from Dell, HPE, and also Lenovo. And really we're able to put those together in conjunction with key ISV partners like the ones that we're showing here, Juniper being a great example of that, where they're able to take their technology, their uh, virtual SRX uh, firewall technology, and really see significant performance benefits by optimizing with us, and at the same time seeing real key energy efficiency gains as well by collapsing the number of servers they actually need to deliver that same performance. As we get towards the end of the show, how are you finding it? Chill first. So, uh, as you can see, we are in front of a wall of radio. So th this wall of radio is the proof of 13 customers that have developed their open run radios with AMD technology inside. And we had to limit to 13 because we did not have enough space in here. But that's a proof of the ecosystem that we were just talking about. Nick, any other 
Absolutely. I mean, it, this has really been, uh, you know, for us about uh, about bringing together our, our two organisations. But fundamentally, we're seeing we're really excited by the development in Cloud RAN, particularly this year has been very much about you know Cloud RAN and our realisation of, of the ORAN ecosystem. So you know that that's the thing that really uh, really springs to mind for us. We're really excited because we're getting a great set of feedback from customers, really positive and enthusiastic about what we're bringing to market. Gentlemen, thanks very much for sharing the AMD Xilinx story with us. And good luck to you in the coming year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.